call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on September the 8th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Uh, are we going to ask uh, Brother Cashin if he will lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag? Let's pray together. Father, we do thank you that we have the opportunity in this country to uh, freely gather, to express ourselves, to, uh, to uh, do those businesses, uh, to do those matters which we hope will help our community to be the best it can be. And I thank you for these uh, who are serving in our county government. We pray your blessings on them. We ask that you guide everything that takes place in this meeting, and it will all be done for the, the good of the people in this community, and that, uh, that we would uh, honor you way we conduct ourselves as well. But all we thank you for Jesus and we pray these things in his name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the previous meeting, August 25th, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or addition? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The motion carries. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list, which you were delivered this afternoon. Uh, but I request a motion for that. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any discussion? Judge, I have something. Okay. Uh, one thing to clarify, I had a question today about the uh, our, uh, our uh, safety and training programs and changing the filters at the museum on there for our uh, COVID money. Uh, <coughs> I, then I found out that, that they suggest changing filters often to help keep down the virus. So yeah. that was good. I just uh, wanted, wanted to make everybody aware of that. And the other thing is, is on page five, second item down, I see an invoice for a pistol for maintenance for Josh Wright. Yes, uh, I requested from the sheriff uh, some time ago uh, for, for that. Uh, it's a part of our safety and protection for the building. He's here most of the time. He's trained and qualified to carry it. So that's who, who I so, uh, I selected to uh, protect in case somebody Trump tries to raid our office or something. Well, I mean, I the sheriff's been on board on it. I appreciate that, but I, what I don't understand is we went through this once before with our animal control officer about how we would not furnish them a weapon and that we would only let them carry a weapon if they were trained through the same training as the sheriff and deputies. That that is the that is the deal the sheriff made with with us. And uh, that is the deal he made with us. And I don't think Josh has went through that. But the other thing is is Josh is also a constable. So that puts another thing in the route to where it's saying that we're buying a constable a weapon. Well, it's not. It's just for the. It's for this building. And like I said, I've, I consulted with the sheriff on it. So you're saying he's been through the training? He either has been or will be. He signed up with the sheriff's department to do whatever. He so he, to go. He, he does not carry the weapon at this moment. Yes. So I'm assuming he's done some training. And he's going to the academy. No. He goes to the sheriff's office when he tra trains on weapons at their range. Well, I, I'm not going to be in favor of paying the bills and claims unless we omit that until he has finished his training. Uh, 
who were we paying that to? Uh, Kaiser Police Supply or Kaisler. Well, could we go ahead and pay for the gun since it's been and keep pay a bill keep and, and, and keep it locked up until he's done with his training. Well, I think he is. I was, I was well, covering that, that with Sheriff, but I think he has. Are we going to get some kind of certificate showing that he has trained with them or well, something? Page that I'm saying. The only thing page is five. we might want to have something for uh, second, second item down. What do you think we'd have to have something for take over there or question? Is well, ever an issue? It, wouldn't, it wouldn't be hurt just for liability reasons. Can we get some kind of training documentation from the sheriff? I'll ask him for it. Okay. I, you know, I, I mean, I have a real concern with us doing this for him and, and all the steps that we took with our previous animal control officer. Uh, I think it needs to be, you know, fair across the board. I think we need to, you know, hold our standards high, uh, especially for enforcement. And and actually, we have law enforcement upstairs. We have them just upstairs. Uh, so I don't. I mean, I wish we could have talked about this before. It looks like we purchased it, but yeah. well, I, I uh, really, I really thought it was within my grounds here of protecting the building. And like I said, I did consult with the sheriff on He got, he purchased the weapon for us. Uh, if I'm going to vote for bills and claims tonight, it would have to. Uh, really, I don't know how I'm vote for it with that. I mean, if if we put a stipulation in there, and I don't know, Justin would have to fill me in on that. How that he was not to receive the weapon until he has completed his training. Uh, I don't know how that goes. Yeah, I mean, Jason's suggestion is to go ahead and, and, and pay for the gun um, and that it be held. As far as how that's to release to him to carry would be something that, that the court could let me know as far as how you want me to write that up. I don't course, know if you've come to some consensus now. Of course, you know, no, the sheriff approved on it. He yeah, I mean, it's, it's whatever, if you want it where the sheriff is comfortable or if you want it where there's some type of certificate, I mean, that's up to the discretion of the court. Liability-wise, where do we stand since if, if he's not finished training? Well, well, what, cer well, certainly, I think the training would be something that you want because that does limit your, your, your uh, liability. You probably also want the insurance company to be comfortable with him, with car him carrying that mm -hmm. and the qualifications that he has to carry it. And so if those are met, then, I mean, uh, I would imagine then he's going to be safe in the use of that gun, sir. Judge, can we have it when, when all that stuff's met? We can just inform the court and go and then have the documentation. Can. So how can we pass this, Justin, and, and get that put in? Will you write the uh, well, it, It's up to you, but if um, if you want to put in there that, if you want to accept the bills and claims, pay them. Uh, and then put some type of, of restriction before his continued carry. Um, that could be something done yeah. at, 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 at another day, or it could be, you could leave it to the discretion. Uh, I believe that the only thing the court would have in it is to purchase the weapon or not, because uh, I believe it's administrative call. Yeah, and, it, and that, that, that's, that's certainly the. the uh, but I would do that. I would get a, I would get something from the sheriff signed off on. I'll vote for it uh, if the court pleases. If uh, before he carries that weapon, it, his training has been brought before this court, and we agree that it's sufficient. That's the only way I'll vote for the bill of claim. What we need, Justin, just some well, kind of I certificate. Think, I think those need to be separate. If you're if you're voting to pay the bills. Then you pay the bills and claims. If you want some type of restriction or not on jobs, we'll do you bring right. that motion uh, subsequent to the paying of the bills at some point. Okay. So it was passed in and didn't make the motion. Well, can we postpone the motion on the bills till we make that motion and then come back to the bills and claims? Can we do that? It's up to you. I mean, it's really up to the judge on how he wishes for the agenda to uh, close. Yeah, I, I, I will go with that, but then I would research it too to say. Well, I, I'll, uh, if, if I'll make the motion to. Because, uh, I think it's administrative call, but we can research that too. I will make the motion if 
I will make the motion that this gun be locked up until proper training is taken and brought before the physical court, in which time the physical court majority agrees that it's sufficient. I'll make that motion. The fire training and safety course that he take today. Have, have some a, kind of, with some kind of, or some sort of a certificate. They have, I mean, I fire. think that Officer Stafford can do the uh, fire training. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah safety just class. Just something wrote up that yeah. we've had for documentation. All he can do is give you a certificate to pack. That's all he can do. Give you a. But it's a fire safety course. Yeah. Okay, that, we'll find out. He may well have already had it. I will find out. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Who second? John Deere. Joe. Any discussion? Bring that roll call, Miranda. Johnson? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bar? Yes. Okay, motion passed. Uh, now we go back to the Back to the yeah. I mean, the bill plane. Yeah. Will y'all reinstate your motions, the ones that made them? Larry and who else made the motion? No, motion was made by Jason and Morphew. Jason and Larry. Y'all go ahead. Is your motion yeah, still Yeah, yeah still. Okay. Yes. Do you okay. want to admit that one or just pay no, it? No, go ahead and pay it. Okay. Okay. Uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. I just have one question. And what's this uh, payout for the bluegrass crossings? That's the uh, when the bluegrass industrial park, once a year we have to pay out for the contract uh, a percent of the money that was received from there, from occupational tax. Each county would get a certain percentage of the thing. Regional. I don't remember what the percentage was. We well, get five, we get forty and they get twenty, I believe. Yeah. Well it's they get it's a certain percent of the first hundred thousand and then a different percent of the rest. We get forty percent of the first good yeah. They got to get twenty. We get more than other counties do because it's located in our county. Yeah. Even sorry. though five of us join only join me. Okay, uh, we're gonna discuss the uh, property taxes. And I'll make a motion that we acknowledge. Second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion or questions ringing on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, tonight we have to set our property taxes for the year. Uh, I pointed the committee and they met last week. It was Larry Cowan, Jason Chin. Jason uh, Bullock and Ann Melton. Uh, and they, they do have a proposal, and I'm going to let Jason uh, read the proposal and make the, make the motion. Do we do one at a time, or do we, we do just... one at a time? Okay. Um, tax rates, 2000, these were 2019, you got, but we're setting 2020 county tax rates, uh, real, real, sta real estate tax rate. Uh, we propose to take the compensating rate like we always do each year, and it would be 7.6. Yes, yes, sir. Do it. Have a second. No second. Second. You get the second, Miranda. Uh, any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. What you care. Um, for tangible and merchant inventory, do we do one or can we just do both at the same time? They're the same thing. They're the same, same thing. thing. So we just do, uh, I propose we do the 0.4% uh, for each of them the committee did. It would be 7.9. Uh, I'll make that as a motion. Second. Up second. Sorry. You second that? Second by Larry. Uh, is uh, any further discussion? 
And since that's the 4%, the, the 0.4%, we'd probably need to do a roll call on that. Yes, we're going to. Yeah. Uh, no further discussion. Roll call, Miranda. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Do we have to have a, since we went higher, if we go higher than 7.9, do you have to have the public hearing? That's if you go higher now? That's if you go higher, yeah. This is no. 4% increase in the The personal you do, is not subject to public hearing. Okay, we don't do a subject to public hearing. Well, it says here. But it's 7.9, we don't, it's, it's within our guidelines. Yeah, but I have a clarification since I talked about oh, okay. the LG. So there isn't, so, no, we're just, okay. so 7.9 and Okay. So. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. No. Uh, I believe that's passed. I believe one, two, three to two. Motion carried. Okay. Next, you have the motor vehicle. Well, we didn't talk about the motor vehicle. We just talked about the tangible, and the personal. But uh, the motor vehicle stays the same every year. We stay. We'll just keep the motor vehicle at the same rate. It's a 6.3. I make a motion we accept the <coughs> motor vehicle rate 6.3. Second. Second. A motion is second. Uh, any further discussion? Being none, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. And the next ones are just announcements, but we have we have uh, we have the tax rate set by the public library. We need to acknowledge that they gave it to us, and we're certainly not saying we approve of them. We're just saying we. Uh, I make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by Sam Small. Have a second. I'll second to acknowledge. Second by. Joe Barnes? <coughs> yeah, they are here. I think they did one of the events. Okay, we have we acknowledge them. If they're here, let us go ahead and tell us about it. Well, yes. Uh, thank you, Judge. And, uh, and we, we did note there was an increase. Yes. And uh, we, as I said, we're just basically notifying you. But if you have any questions or anything, we're we glad to try to answer them. Uh, it, it does kind of give us a little sense of, uh, of camaraderie as you're all talking about you're setting your tax rates and the sometimes the confusing aspects of it and the information you get from other places, trust me, we have those same conversations in our meetings. So uh, we understand what you're going through. But if you have any questions or concerns, we have to we don't have to try to address those. It, it's always been a rub that uh, library taxes are so high when uh, we're operating an entire county on less than the library gets. We get, we just went to the state at 7.6, was compensating rate, and y'all 8.9, uh, and uh, you know, and, and the general public would never, really, never think that the library received more tax money than the fiscal court. Did. So that's, may that's I ask just your, a comment. May I ask your question, Judge. What is the total budget for the county for the year? Uh, well, our total the, budget dedicated money. Uh, most of the dedicated money is about 14 million, roughly. Right. Well, the library budget is under 900,000, which indicates that even though our tax rates are higher, our only source of income, or at least 90 plus percent of our source of income, is the property tax. And your sources of income are much more varied than that. And so that's why, even though the tax rate is higher, and we, we get more money in terms of the property tax, but in terms of the overall income stream, there's no comparison. Much the library gets. How, how much do y'all take in a year? Uh, between eight and nine hundred thousand. And does the uh, library get more tax money from the barrels up there than the cap physical court does? Sure. They will. Whatever that is calculated. Well, I appreciate appreciate it and we're, and we're we're going to go ahead and vote the knowledge we got mr cashins i got one question if if you would try to uh, how do you say it uh, teach uh, 
the general public because they do not understand what you do. They do not understand what uh, the library does. They think, oh, they got books. Right. We need to uh, teach them and help their better understanding why this is. So in the next year, please try to get that out. Try to, try to uh, start some kind of, of education so the general public can see what you do. Uh, I appreciate that, Sam. Uh, and uh, trust me that the library is very active in public relations trying to communicate all the programs, the, 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 the wireless hotspots, and all the other things that we're trying to do that, that are so far beyond books. But you're right. There are many people who think all the library is is a building full of books that people come and check out. And, and I'm not the person to tell you how to communicate that. And, right. But, you know, if you would try because it makes our job a lot easier sure. um, because we have to answer for your raise too yes uh, I, I understand uh, and uh, and trust me if you have a, a constituent who has questions that uh, we in the library would be happy to talk to them but we will uh, we, we're, we're trying to do that and certainly we will try to do a better job of most of them what I you, won't what send you them to you. is very much in line with our mission I'm sorry sir most of them I won't send to you because you know, I well, don't want you to have to. We may appreciate that too. <laughs> anyway, all right. But if you would, just try yeah. to educate. If we'll, you we'll do our best. Thank you. Thank you, John. Is that all the rates? Oh, yeah. So now we got some more. All, uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh, we've acknowledged that we received it. Uh, now we've got the Ohio County Conservation District, and they take care of all of the watershed and all that. Uh, soil, soil erosion for the whole county, and and they were only proposed 0 0.009. It barely shows up on your tax bill, but it's uh, it's what it, you know it's, that's what they get. So need a motion to acknowledge we got it, that they presented that to us. I like the motion. Motion second. by Jason. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. uh, motion carries. We acknowledge that we got that. And the uh, district health rate, 4.5%. Uh, I believe that's an, a no increase this time. Correct. It's no increase. Uh, no increase from then. So I need a motion to acknowledge we got here. I'll make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by Sam Small. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Okay, we got some bids for some equipment. For Can I say something about the rate real quick, just please, because as far as education? Please go ahead. I want people to know on the tangible what that was because the reason we're in the situation we are in the end here in the county is because we're of this list here, we have 15 counties. And we were the second lowest on all rates, except for Hancock County. We've refused to raise taxes for years, and that's why it puts us in the situation we're in because we—it's easier not to. We're, you know, we're elected, so it's easy to say not. But when we, you go from 7.5 to 7.9, my understanding is that's less than a half a penny per one one hundred dollars. But if you have real property, I mean, if you have personal property valued at $100,000, it costs you $3. So I just wanted to let people know it wasn't, what happens is other counties, we're the second lowest in 15 of these counties around, have done it, and they're not in the situations we've been in because we refuse through the years. It, so it's not fun, but in 15 years, sometimes you have to do some stuff because things go up. And, and I just want people to know that. $3 more. Yes. That the addition was three dollars. Yes. Yes. Per hundred thousand dollars. But that is not for personal. That is not for your real estate. I just want people to know it's not your houses. That's for. Uh, that's tangible. for businesses that's looking to move in. Yeah, and we're we're the second lowest in all fifteen counties. Yes. Even with that rights. Yes. Okay. For example, Meade County is thirty-seven point nine seven. Hopkins is twenty point one two. Davis is 16.37. That's just a few of the. Hancock County's the only lowest one than us. Yeah. 
But I just wanted to, you know, talk so people would know that that's what we're talking about. And most of them are double us. Most of them are twice what we have. Well, Grace and Lord knows on real estate. <laughs> on real estate, but we didn't do anything with real estate. All right. Well, let's move on to our road bids. We had a meeting earlier and open bids for the road. And Sammy is going to give us a recap of that. And I, I, think, know she, I think Joe's going to do it for you. Joe's going to do it? Okay. It, it didn't really matter, but yeah, we looking at uh, bids on the mini excavator. We have five bids here. We opened them up at the 4 o'clock road committee meeting. Got the, the bids for each one. Caterpillar 308 was $100,876. The John Deere was 111,546.73. Uh, the Gamar was $100,625. The Komatsu was $112,271. And the Takahuchi was $103,225. And I believe the committee, we opted to uh, go with the CAT 308, so I'll entertain a motion that we will purchase the CAT 308 for $100,876, uh, which will be done with the money that we received on our truck that we are selling at the end of the month. Our I'll price motion. motion. Motion by uh, Larry Morphew to accept the bid for the Caterpillar from what company now? Uh, that is from Boyd Cat. Boyd Cat. Okay. Uh, and to authorize uh, and write the check, right? When it gets there, Larry? Yes. Yes. When the, yes. After our money comes through, yes. the truck. Yes. truck. And the only reason we, we brought that in, we wanted the public to know what we ended up doing is we felt like we could use, utilize a, a mini track hole more than what, we, what we've been utilizing one of the triaxle trucks. So we, uh, this year when we turned it in for our uh, off our lease program, we're selling it and we're using that money to buy the mini, the mini excavator. Okay. Of course, we do that every year, don't we, the, the lease? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, we're just opting to buy one right. track solution. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. So, uh, I will call Mr. Woolen in the morning and tell him to get it. Uh, we have a uh, we have on the agenda for the old Cedar report, but I don't I don't see Jody, so Jody's I guess we're not going to do that tonight. <laughs> so I'll move on. Uh, uh, each fiscal court meeting, I'm trying to give you a COVID update, uh, and we're just not doing very well. Today we have 43 active cases, which is the best we've been in two weeks. But I'm sure we're going to be over 50 tomorrow because I know that uh, that the uh, uh, healthcare facilities in the county are turning in positive to the health department tomorrow, uh, and I, there'll be maybe some recovery too. But I look for us to have a net gain of at least seven on tomorrow's report. So I'm going to say actually we're around 50 active cases. We've had 425 altogether, 383 have recovered. We've had nine deaths. Uh, our rate for uh, our population is really high. And our positivity rate for the test done is high. It's at seven, I mean, it's at, uh, uh, I'll get it out here in a minute. It, it's at 9.4%. Uh, in other words, 9.4% of all of the t people that's been tested come back positive. And that's high for the state and high for the region. What did you say the rate was? 9.4. Uh, the only good news I can give you on that is I got a chance to check that positivity rate. It's dropped okay. some. We're at about 7.5. But Testing hospitals have gone down in numbers. You asked me to find that for you before. Okay. Well, that's that's just new information today. Yeah, so, that, new, so sorry, I gave uh, that to you earlier. And I, I think that, uh, but but it, it, we're not doing well. We we don't we want our all of our business 
stay open. They've got to. People have got to get back to their life. They've got to go to work. They've got to do everything that we do. We just need to be careful. We need to uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. And avoid uh, uh, groups as much as you can. The only commonality of these cases, they're not coming from one place. They're not coming from a processing plant. They're not coming from uh, uh, the uh, rest home. They're not coming from any particular place. It's broad spread. The only commonality is that over half of the people that, that test positive have been to some sort of a gathering in recent times where masks were off and people were going back to the old days. And that's the commonality of where it's coming from. Uh, the nine deaths, how many of those was from Ohio County? I mean, that is nine deaths. They're all from Ohio County. Well, there was? Yeah. More than that died in Ohio County, but this was our residence. It doesn't get attributed to Ohio County unless it's an Ohio County resident. Right. Right. We had several deaths. If they died here and they're from another county, right. that would be attributed to their county. Right. And several of them, that's happened with several. But even at that, we're at two point two and a third percent of all of our cases have died, and uh, uh, that's bad. And there were several of them came from the rest home uh, problem, but not all of them. And it's not all old people. So young people think it don't affect them. It does. Some are very very sick, and some die. So uh, it's not anything we take lightly. We don't want to shut down anything. We just want to go back. We just want to do do what we know to do to prevent the spread, so that we can get beyond it. Uh, we're talking. Uh, I've talked to CC today at the hospital, and we've initiated the effort to try to get them to, to get their uh, uh, fast uh, uh, action test back. We get them back quicker. We're trying to get them some. Uh, uh, Thing, uh, what they need to do it with. They've got the equipment, but they need the stuff to do it with. We're trying to get, help them get that. And what that would do is it keep a person from missing work if they uh, tested negative and they got it back in a few minutes instead of several days. Um, do we have any other kit committee reports? We had the road committee. Do we have any others? I'll just, that we didn't meet, we're going to meet the 15th, but the um, people on glass is on, hang on, I've got, I can't see. But our Suicide Awareness Mental Health Committee uh, is meeting the 15th. We continued updating our Facebook page, so if you've not been on it, it's, um, OS, let me make sure, hang on, I'll tell you right, because there's a, OC, uh, Ohio County Mental Health backslash Suicide Awareness, so get on, check it out. Uh, but what we've done now is, you know, we have about 700 people that's liked that page and got on, and uh, it's, it's, the traffic's been really good on it. Uh, but we also have planned a, uh, an event to let people know about. It's September 26th at the Ohio County Fairgrounds. It, it's a suicide awareness walk. Um, and um, if I can find the information out here, we've got too many Facebook pages. Let's see here. Um, it's the Suicide Awareness Walk at Ohio County Park. It's Saturday, September 26th. Um, it starts at, um, I don't have the, uh, the start time on here. Do you know what time it starts? Ten, is it 10? Uh, yeah, right. I'll have that at the next meeting, but it's Saturday, September 26th. Uh, it's our Suicide Prevention Mental Health Awareness Walk. Um, she told me it starts at like 8. Okay, I'll have that more probably. But if you want to check out the, the Facebook page, like I said, it's Ohio County uh, Suicide Backslash Mental Health Awareness. Um, and it's got the information on there. And uh, we're excited about the people who've been working really hard. We've had a few donations. Um, what was I going to say? One more thing. I was trying to think about what I was going to say. but. Uh, I just want people to check that out, mark the calendar, and if you can be there. Oh, I was going to, CC, that's what I was looking at her here. I've talked to CC in the hospital, has volunteered to help out as far as providing the mask and the signs and social distancing six foot apart. So we appreciate the, uh, the uh, hospital being a partner with this. So if uh, this means something to you, uh, 
you've been through something like this with a family member or a friend, uh, we would love to see you there on September 26th at the Ohio County Fairgrounds. And uh, I will uh, bring a team and hopefully I'll get you the correct time. I hate to give you a time right now because I said 10 and Bo thinks eight. So uh, let me tell you that at the next meeting or get that, check our Facebook page and we will have some more information on it. Dustin, do you know? It says, it says 10. 10 on the event. Okay, I thought it said 10. Also, it starts, this week is Suicide Awareness Week. And yeah, all week is this week. So yeah, please, uh, like I said, it's uh, affected a lot of family members. I appreciate it. Get on our Facebook page and check it out. And, Bring a team. We're, our, our whole goal for this committee is just to bring awareness and let people know that there is help out there. You know, you contemplate it or you thought of something, you know, there are people out there willing to help you. you, just, you we want you to ask. Right. Okay? There's so, no problem so big that you can't yes. get out of it. Somebody's willing to help if you just ask. Right. And that's uh, really all I have to say about it. Thank you. The sheriff uh, sent three reports over that I forgot we just acknowledge we got them his unmined mineral settlement we got it we need to acknowledge that we got it so move second motion by sam second by jason any discussion being none all in favor say aye aye motion carried also his uh what does lsg stand for let me see here that looks like it's, uh, it's limestone, sand, and gravel. Limestone, sand, and gravel settlement. Uh, he presented it. We need to accept it too. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Um, got a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Being that all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And we have the uh, oils one I missed. It, should, it was up top of the page, but I'm getting it last. His oil settlement, which was a big four hundred and eight dollars and two cents. I'll make a motion again to accept this. Oil. Motion by Jason. Second by Sam. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Is there any other committee's reports? Judge, I don't have. Report, I'd just like to thank this report for their continued support on purchasing our playground equipment, remodeling the buildings. Uh, we got our basketball courts, everything done. So I wanted to thank you all. I saw the aerial, looks really nice. And just as soon as, uh, just soon as the COVID thing's over, so we can travel, we'll have a court meeting out there. Golf course, well, we uh, have a customer appreciation uh, September 19th, starting at 8 o'clock, hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff, so if you want to come out, love to have you all. That's all I got. Good deal, thank you. Um, if there's no other committees, let's go to the master's comments and requests. Let's go to Sam. Uh, I have nothing more, no, Judge. Okay. No. Yes. No. Joe? No, thank you. Have you heard it? when we're going to get our money for the blacktop? No, I pushed to try to get the contract for tonight's meeting, so now we'll push for the next meeting. Yeah, I did drive by one of my roads and notice it still has enough. Uh, we had bypassed the uh, OCEDA report, and Jody's here now, so if y'all don't mind, we'll back up and hear that. Jody? That was an OCEDA report? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, what do you want to hear? I can tell you whatever you want to hear. I've applied for five grants. Uh, for the product development initiative. Actually, we identified five properties. We ended up turning in an application only for one due to it being narrowed down. Um, we have uh, continued expansion with WPT. Um, so that's going really well. There's one of our manufacturers that are for sale. We are still actively working on a uh, business valuation for them. Um, waiting for some more financial information from them and i guess that's all for me well, just when when you get uh, when you get somebody that has information i re requesting information for a build site or something like that the tax rates ever come up every time that's yeah. all i can say today i mean by seeing the word one of the cheapest in the whole yeah. okay just wanted to know if that was something that was I figured that was a selling point. It's definitely a selling point, yes. Yeah, it's, it's starting to benefit, like with the uh, 
whiskey houses, isn't it? Yes. Uh, well, I think that was one of the main reasons why we were chosen uh, for those, especially because it's a very highly taxed uh, tangible property. But with that being said, it also affects grants. We, we apply for the PDI grants. Uh, one of the things that they consider is, is our tax rates on that. So, is, there, yeah. is there a limit on the tax rates on those grants? <coughs> Not a limit, they just compare you. That's what they do. They compare you to other communities your size uh, or in the area you know it's, it's different for depends on who's looking at it really but they just take them into consideration right. because we've, they know it's a big selling point for industries just like we've, any other incident we've, we've always proud that we are the lowest uh, tax rate in the in the whole area we stayed that way uh, I think from what Ann showed me today Hancock County was also Hancock County is the only one cheaper, really, as far as cross the board. And they have a base of uh, assessments that's the reason they don't have to have yeah. Three big factories. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, we don't see anybody else got anything for the good of the bus. Small county. If anybody else got anything for the good of the court meeting, if not, we're going to call this meeting adjourned. See you on two weeks. Thank you.